Good morning, guys. It's a cloudy day on the island. I gotta get this grass cut. We came into town last night. Look at all the lettuce. I harvested so much of this and it just, it grows so fast. This one here is not looking the greatest at the, I don't know, that part there is not good. But for the most part, this is all, I gotta take some time and really go through everything and get rid of all the crap that shouldn't be there. Anyway, the lettuce is doing good. Oh, it's hot and humid. Oh, oh my gosh. This was not like that yesterday. All the lawn, the lawn. Oh, wow. These are my stream beans. The cucumbers are doing well. The green peppers are starting. It's going good. Uh, I'm excited to see the strawberries, the celery. Now, these strawberries are at the point where every single day, yeah, look, every single day there's going to be, that one's not good. I'll get that in a second. There's going to be little surprises everywhere. So I learned a lot about strawberries from our Little Gingerbread House's channel. The channel is our Little Gingerbread House, but um, I've learned a lot. And I was going to do strawberry beds this year but now that we're in full swing like with summer i don't think i'm gonna have the time this year um but next year definitely oh we got lots of red beautiful berries on this one i'm gonna pick some of these the ones that are ready i can't wait for this one to be ready it's so funny shaped that one's almost ready uh, but yeah, I've learned a lot about strawberries. So these aren't, there's de strawberries definitely have more potential than what is happening here, but there's a whole system on how to do it. And I'm going to do it next year. I highly suggest you watch her strawberry garden for beginners series. She has on her channel. She talks about exactly how to get the big delicious berries, not just the little tiny ones. And I'm going to do her system next year. Oh, and also it's the time of year where my hands swell every summer. I can't wear my reins in the summer. My hands swell so bad. Um, just another neighborhood card jacking. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, but um, yeah, so I'm going to do her method next next uh spring but i i really wish i i just i know i'm not gonna have the time at this point because we're gonna be at the camper a lot and um so i'm probably gonna be moving this garden out there once we're out there for a good stretch of time what's this berry yummy yummy i apologize <laughs> i don't know when they're gonna turn their car off but i uh I'm definitely loving gardening and I do want to take it to the next step next summer. But this has been a wonderful like dip in my toes in. It's been really good. I went out last night when we got home from the camper and I got groceries. So we're all stocked up for the next few days because so we're not heading back out. Well, I'm heading back out today just for a few hours to help get it situated for Canada Day. Get, bring the decorations out there. Uh, that sort of thing but we're not going out there again for a few days so I stocked the house with groceries here I got all the stuff I don't know if you can see it right there I got all the stuff for cherry cheesecake so that's what I'm gonna bring to the potluck and it's going to be a very introverted day for my kids my kids are both introverts as am I and as is Trevor and it's really powerful knowing that about your people because then you can really help them pour into that aspect of their life. And I'm very much in the summer, the type of mom that's like, let's do this, 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 like, let's just have the best summer. Let's do something every single day. And then the kids are like, I just want to do nothing today. I'm like, what? Like, no, let's go to the beach. Let's go camping. Let's go to the drive-in. Let's go to the pool. Like that's, but I have learned over the years that they need the time to fill their cup. As much as they love doing all the fun things, they do need the days where they're just 
in their room or playing video games or reading a book or whatever it may be and we don't have anybody over we don't socialize them like it sounds very dramatic but it, it's not but um they require that they require that so today i they didn't ask for it but i was like do you guys want your little introverted days today and they're both like yeah yeah so alex is so excited he has a he has um some shows he's watching on netflix and he has a video game that has a new update so he's very excited about that Florence, uh, me and her are actually going to go in a couple minutes and get some new books for her for this summer. She has a list of books she wants to read, summer reads or something she was saying. It's summer, I don't know. I'm not part of the book community. I don't know. It seems like a thing that you just make a list of books you want to read in the summer and then you... So anyway, she wants to go get a few books off her list and start reading them today. It's the perfect day for it because it's cloudy. It's probably going to rain. It's hot and muggy, so the AC inside is nice. This is our first ever summer with AC in our house. We've never had it before. So it is lovely. It's glorious. It's actually game changing. I don't know how we lived before AC in the house. I don't know. Summer just seems a lot more bearable with it. So that's our plans today. I'm heading out for the day also moms of older kids especially like stay-at-home moms of older kids you might relate to this but even if you're not a stay-at-home mom you'll definitely relate to this too but me being a stay-at-home mom i like take pride in this like that like that part of my life like i love i love caring for people i love caring for my children i love being a stay-at-home mom and and in every aspect of that word i love it but <laughs> It does hinder a few things I find because I am very much like we'll wait on them hand and foot. Like I, I'm always doing the laundry. I do the dishes because it's just part because they're, like they're in school, right? So like I'm home all day, like this is what I'm doing. But then they don't get to develop those skills <laughs> because I'm always doing it and I'm always here to solve their problems. And I'm always here to just like, I'm always here like, and I'm, glad to do it I love it but I am noticing that I need to back up a bit like to take a step back and let them figure things out like today I'm going out to the camper and they're here when I tell you the guilt would destroy me normally about this like oh my gosh like no I should be home with them like it's summer I need to be home with them but no like they they're fine here and I'm like what are they gonna do for lunch guess what the house is stocked with groceries. They're gonna figure it out. There's a million and one things for them to eat. They don't need me here to tell them, this is what time we're having lunch. This is what we're making for lunch or what I'm making for lunch. And this, like, you know what I mean? They're gonna figure it out. And I think it's, it's good for them to have a little break from me. <laughs> a lot of kids are, they're just home for summer and they, they figure it out too, right? So like teenagers, that's what I'm talking about. Not like little kids, but like my kids are teenagers. So like the house is stocked with food. I'm not gonna tell them, make craft dinner, make french fries, make a sandwich, make a Caesar salad. I'm not gonna tell them. I'm gonna let them figure it out. They're just gonna figure it out. Cause like it, they, the food's here. They gotta figure it out. I'm like venting at this point. They're gonna figure it out and they will. They don't complain about it. It's me. This is me in my head. I'm like, oh my gosh, like what are they gonna eat? <laughs> They're gonna figure it out. It's gonna be a nice a nice um, skill for them to to, you know, and I know they have it, it's just I don't allow it to flourish because I'm just here doing it all the time. So I'm letting go of the apron strings this summer, for lack of better words. That's my goal. It's just, it's important skills to learn. I want them to develop a lot of these skills this summer as far as like feeding yourself, doing the dishes, um, you know. They know how to do it, but I am just constantly here doing it because it's like, just part of my gig that's what I do but I want to step back a little bit and just let them take on a little bit of that responsibility this summer <laughs> that was long-winded but that's my little personal goal actually it's a huge goal for me this summer huge goal to just let go a little bit of the control and the like just constantly being on as like parent and just like allowing myself to do what I want to do like go out to the camper today and like decorate for oh my mom's here decorate for um canada day oh i'm like come back oh it's my sister hi 
I didn't know who you were. Can't get in my house, sister. I love your sweater. Look at my sister's sweater. Where did you get this? H&M. <gasps> oh my gosh, I and love it. Oh, look at mom, she looks so beautiful. I was just telling <clears throat> the vlog, I'm letting go of the apron strings this summer. I'm gonna try to let the kids figure things out, you know? <laughs> Jacqueline, what? you should eat that berry right there that's dangling at the back before squirrel takes it. I know, I was just saying I got a, oh, that's a good one. I didn't even see that one. Oh. Did you see this one? No. You're finding all the berries. I had ones just like those in your chipmunk family. These are Florence's summer reeds. Is that what you call summer reeds? Well, I, I got them in the summertime. Okay, sorry. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to be part of the book community. Okay, so this is Shatter Me. Shatter me. It's like a whole series. I've been dying to it because everyone's like, oh my God, it's so good. I'm like, okay. I'll <laughs> okay, I'll read it. I'll try it. Oh, okay. Good. And then this one, I read that I had the, this is the second book. It's not summer without you. She's read the first one. Yeah. So this is part two. Yeah. And then things we never got over. Yeah, I love Lucy Score. She's I love the Daisy. She's one of my favorite authors. Aww. Her books are always so pretty. So yeah. And then I spoke. I was dying to get this. This one. is her top. <laughs> is this one you're reading today? Yeah. <laughs> is it a love story? Yeah. Well, what do you think? I think she falls in love with a hockey player, or he falls in love with her, the figure skater. Well, her partner. Um. Like gets injured, mm -hmm. like her, her skating. Oh, partner. so he has so to he has, be her partner. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. We're shopping for our Canada Day party. <laughs> We're in the right section. We also got to stock up on chocolate bars for chocolate bar bingo. God, I love a good cherry blossom. I really do. Caramels are good. Like yeah. bars, and you get two of them, and they're two for dollars worth fifty cents. Oh, they really? So Tourist season has arrived because oh, there is parking. There's one spot. Do you see it? Yeah. Oh, go, mom! It's a windy day, and the wind blew us right to Blue Muscle Cafe, all the way from Charlottetown. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the, the all the way to North Rustico. This is another restaurant, guys. If you're coming to the island, that you need to go to. The Finn's my number one. Blue Muscle Cafe is my number two. <laughs> done out here now we just gotta wait for Canada day although she's getting her new we need muscles. oh yeah muscles we need people with big muscles because my sister and I have proven not to <laughs> not to have big muscles but uh we're trying to we moved the one step off we tr we're trying to move this off because we're getting the new ones but we can't lift it it's too heavy so are you watering your flowers? Yeah. I here, can't get here, one sec. I'll help you. I'll give you a quick tour of mom's flowers out here. She has a few. This is all going to look real nice eventually, guys. <laughs> Bear with us this summer. Because right now it's looking a bit, <laughs> a bit uh, rough. That's cute. She puts little flowers in there. Is that all the flowers you have out here? Yeah. Okay. So this is the step that comes with the trailer and it's not all the way out because this is in the way. So yeah, I don't know. We just need some bigger muscles. We're just playing tours for the day today, aren't we? Let's see yours, mom. Oh, you got the same as me. Yeah. Oh well, my sisters, you got you got a good scoop. You got a good scoop. There is nothing in this world like a cow's ice cream. It's made differently, honestly. My sister got a sweater. 
Here's not how I like those cow sweaters. And so is she. Good morning, guys. I did not end my vlog last night. I ended up cutting the grass and taking a shower. And then Trevor and I watched a show on Netflix. You guys, if you can handle... It's, it is a disturbing show, but it is wild. It's called Take Care of Maya. That's what it's called. It's a documentary, and it is... I've never in my life ever heard of this before. It is just... It's it's really hard to watch. Like, I was crying. Trevor was tearing up. Like, it was... It's horrible, but like the situation is horrible, like nightmare situation. It's this, it's this family and they're like this like picture perfect family, but the daughter ends up getting extremely ill and nobody believes her. And it, oh, no, it is so, it is, it's a hard watch. But it is so eye-opening. I did not know. I, I Oh my gosh. It, uh, you gotta watch it if you can. If you're into documentaries and that. I don't know. It, it's, it's very. It's There's a lot of topics covered. But me and Tra Trevor was angry. He was like, I literally would be going to jail. I was like, no, you wouldn't. Like, what would you do? You couldn't. Literally, people do go to jail, though. People, like, oh my gosh, I can't even, you guys have to, I don't want to give anything away, but you guys, like, it is a wild, that show. Take care of Maya. It's sad. It will make you cry. It will make you furiously angry. It will make you sick to your stomach. It is just, it's a true, it's documentary, it's a true story. And this is happening in America. Oh my God. I was like, I, I had no idea. I had no idea that the situation that this family was in was even a situation you could be in. I had no idea. It was I, oh my gosh, you have to watch it. You have to watch it, but just know it's a lot. So like maybe don't watch it. <laughs> maybe don't watch it if you if you don't want to um, watch something very heavy. But anyway, that's what we did last night. We watched that show and then. We did some New York planning. Oh my gosh. Okay. I am so excited for this New York trip, but like we have not been like um doing like a lot of like planning planning because we June was so busy for us. So now we're back on the like let's get our trip planned and like what exactly it is we want to do, where we want to eat, what we want to see, and we had the best time just like, you know, dreaming of New York and stuff. So anyways, I'm going to end this video here. I don't know if I'm vlogging today or not. We're going to head back out to the camper because we want to, we have a hammock to build. Remember I bought mom that little standing, well it's not little, it's a double hammock. We want to get that made. And then those stupid steps, we have to, we have to get them moved. Uh, so I think we're going to get some muscles out there, bigger muscles than my sister and I and see if we can get that step situation before our Canada Day party. And I gotta make a cheesecake to, oh, who knows, maybe I will vlog today. We'll see, I have to make a cheesecake, I have to, but anyways, you'll see me soon. <laughs> um, but if you don't see me in the next couple days, happy Canada Day! I am so, I love Canada Day, it is one of my favorite days. We just celebrate with both families and it is always the best time so anyways happy Canada Day if I'm not around but I'm sure I will be I don't know I don't know what I'm doing yeah I just go with the flow you know it's summer we don't have a schedule we just do what we want but um I hope you guys are well happy Canada Day and I will see you guys really really soon in my next video bye